would you deal with Vladimir Putin, Lindsey Graham? First thing I would do is tell Putin that if you bomb the people we train in Syria, I will shoot your planes down. What Obama is allowed to happen is for the Russian Air Force to come in on the side of Assad, a puppet of Iran, to bomb the people that we train to liberate their country. This is a moral failing by President Obama. I would tell him, Putin, you're not going to attack the people we train. I would arm the Ukrainians so they could fight back for their own freedom. I would export natural gas to Europe to undercut its monopoly. Uh, and I would tell him that Assad's going to go. We're going to deal with ISIL first. But if you want to fight for Assad, you're welcome to do so. He's destabilizing. He's a puppet of Iran. The war never ends. He's a war criminal. I would put notice, Putin on notice, that you're not going to destabilize countries by military intervention. Wow. That's Senator Lindsey I would shoot Graham. his planes down. I would literally shoot his planes down if he Woo! attacked the people Woo! we train. Because we have to do that. That is beyond pathetic he's excited about it. he's like i would start world war three i would start world war three that's what i'd do and if he doesn't realize that shooting down vladimir putin's planes would start world war three then he's the biggest idiot on the planet but then again he might actually not realize that because i mean think about it the way that we've been thinking in america or at least the establishment has for a long time is when we do it it doesn't count like, it doesn't count in a negative way. So when we violate international law, we didn't really violate international law because we're America, so international law is below us, so it doesn't count when we do it. He might actually think, like, oh, if I shoot down Vladimir Putin's planes, then tomorrow we're all going to wake up and have breakfast and, you know, watch some TV and I'm going to beat off John McCain. I mean, what did I say that out loud? And we're just going to go about our day and it's going to be no big deal. No, but see, what happens in the real world, Lindsay, is that when you shoot down the plane of Vladimir Putin... He calls in a fucking, he attacks your planes, or he escalates further, and, you know, we're basically in World War III, and it's only a matter of time until, quite literally, everybody gets involved. Hence the name World War III. And also, when he says, hey, Vladimir Putin's killing the rebels that we trained, he's not 100% wrong about that, but he doesn't tell you the other part to it. Putin should do that. <laughs> Why? Because the people we trained are bad guys. I know that uh, Lindsey Graham doesn't believe in facts, but Vice News reported recently that CENTCOM even admitted that the people who we trained and we sent into Syria, the second they got in Syria, they handed over all their weapons to al-Nusra. Al-Nusra is the official al-Qaeda branch in Syria. So these guys are Islamists and jihadists. We trained them. They go in there and align themselves with uh, Islamists and jihadists and al-Qaeda. And uh, Lindsey Graham's like, don't you dare bomb them. Why? Why? You should bomb them. You know, if there's anybody who should be defeated here, and it should be the number one priority of everybody to defeat them, it's ISIS, who are the rebels fighting Assad, and it's al-Nusra, and all the other jihadists who make up the rebel factions. Guys, there's like eight moderate, so-called moderate rebels left in there. How do I know? We set up a program to train the so-called moderate rebels. We literally got four people to train. The FSA's broken. They fled a long time ago. They went to Turkey and they went to Europe. They're out of there. So now all you have is Assad and the the Syrian regime and other Shia militias that go in to fight on his side. Yes, backed by Iran. All you have is them versus ISIS and jihadists. And Lindsey Graham is such a fucking dunce that he's like, I just want to take the side of the Islamists and the jihadists. Well, why would you do that? That doesn't make any sense. But he actually tells you why he'd do that. Because he hates Iran so much. And he hates Russia so much that he wants to use this as a proxy war for World War III, where we would be on the side of the Islamists and the jihadists and ISIS and Al-Qaeda, and he's fine with that. Well, Lindsay, uh, you'll forgive me if I say I don't agree with you. I think that's the worst possible idea. I want nothing to do with Syria, number one, but number two, if I'm gonna sit on the sidelines and root for the lesser of two evils, of course I'm gonna root for uh, Vladimir Putin to beat ISIS. Why would I pick ISIS over Vladimir Putin? You know, I, of course I would say, you know, I'm not a fan of Assad, but if it's either him ruling the country or it's jihadists, well, fuck, I guess I'm going to have to sit here and go, I, Assad better come out on top. So it, the thing is, he's brazenly and arrogantly calling for the same mistake that we made in Iraq. Isn't that amazing? We got in the middle of a civil war in Iraq and we toppled the admittedly bad dictator but a stabilizing force nonetheless we went in there we had no right to because he had nothing to do with al-qaeda or 9-11 we toppled the dictator and then something worse came up 
Well, why, why would it not be the same thing in Syria? In fact, of course it would be the same thing in Syria. We see who the rebels are. They're worse people. 